This is another fake one down here. I'm just looking at the quality. That is awful. That is, <laughs> you, it would not look like that. They did not prefer me to record, so. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are here in Micanopy, Florida, which is a small, interesting town, and we're gonna check out a couple antique stores here. Oh, that's sun. Uh, so, it's really awesome. They've got this really interesting street down here. You can see all these, like, little buildings and things. Let's check out the first antique mall. It's just right over here. Let's see what we can find. So there's this little cabin that says Gallery Under the Oaks. This is an antique next to it, the Outpost. We'll try this one. It kind of feels like a museum in here with the way things are. It's kind of higher end stuff it appears to be. Like here's a, a painting and that's 525. It says 1970s painting Louisiana artist Robert Loomis. It's like there's a curio cabinet over here with some glass in it. There's a marigold carnival glass dish for 75. That's Fenton and it says stag and holly. That's the the pattern. Then there's this art glass here. They're calling it Murano. Whether or not that's true I'm not sure. It looks really good though. Look how pretty the the, the colors are in there. Murano glass is an island in Italy, so it's still made today, and you'd have to really know the bottom isn't as smooth as I would prefer. It seems a little hazy, so that there's certain indicators that can kind of clue you in on that. It's very tricky, and it takes a lot of just seeing real Murano. Now this, sadly, this does not look right. That's trying to be like Roseville. The quality is not good. I just did a video recently. Um, I don't know if this is open. Okay, there we go. A video recently about how you can tell, but you can tell here. Yeah, see how that the, the line and the R swoops down a lot. It, it should be a little bit more swoopy, like a little bit more curved. And plus the pottery is not right on the bottom at all and the quality is not crisp. It, this is kind of, I don't know what to say, it's just kind of lazy painting. So it's trying to be Roseville, but it's not. Yeah, that quality is not good. Always look at the quality first. It, 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 there, was, there should be no question when you look at it. But they have here um, 30, um, 95 on the pair of them. So, and they're, they're mentioning that they're Roseville. They're not, they're, they, they can fool you if you're just looking at the name though. Just a, a reminder. However, what is this down here? Yeah, that's another fake. This is another fake one down here. I'm just looking at the quality. That is awful. That is, <laughs> you, it would not look like that. So there's, there's a better view of the mark. Yeah, that's not right at all. Not at all. They do have some crystal though. It's a really pretty piece of Bristol glass right there. Painted, it looks to be hand painted, yes. In the cobalt blue. And then this is a very nice cobalt perfume with the atomizer and it has the etched detailing on there. There's a pinwheel, a little pineapple motif, the ovals, it's very nice. They do have some uranium glass, 185 for the Bashville Charlotte. That's a flower frog and flowers would go in those holes there and kind of stick up out of it. Then you have this nice piece here. I think they call that Philby pattern. It's a biscuit jar, uranium glass. And then a couple little custard cups down below and another flower frog right there. This is a really cool dresser here. I like that. They have five drawer dresser, 450, mid-century. They don't say who did it. I'm curious about that. It's kind of interesting. And the vanity is nice too, with the uh, with the round with the round mirror. Oh, and then a great screen, this big screen here. It's a big screen. <laughs> it's lacquered. It's painted and lacquered. I don't think we can really do a whole lot in here, so let's head on out and check out the next place. That's actually a piece of early highwaymen art, uh, and I learned about that not too uh, long ago. So it's marked Willie Daniels, W. Daniels, and that was a series of people who were basically homeless, uh, mostly African-American, 
and they would be painting on the side of the road and sell those. So they would sell those for about $25, $35 a piece, and now they're very highly collected. So it doesn't have a price, so I'm guessing it's maybe just a little ex exhibition to look at. Yeah, upon second glance as I was walking out, there was quite a few of those uh, paintings by the highwaymen. Oh, how pretty is this? Look at all the wonderful scenery there. That is so nice. Oh, look, there's a big flamingo. Cuban coffee. Ooh, it's a coffee shop? Oh, they've got all kinds of little flamingos hanging out. By the way, you should check out my vlog channel where I do show a lot of my personal life on it here in Florida. And it's, it's pretty, pretty cool. You can go subscribe to that channel. It's under my full name and I have it linked in the description below. So there's like a coffee place over there. Yeah, I'm doing a lot more vlogging in this one anyway than normal, but there's a couple places across the street too. This place looks pretty cool. They have got this artwork out here. We'll go inside and check it out. Oh, I really like that cameo lamp too. Oh, and that green, that green vase. There's some nice stuff in there. Let's, let's see. Okay, so they did not prefer me to record, so we'll check out Delectable Collectibles, Fine Jewelry and Antiques. Oh boy, are they open? I don't know. Oh my gosh, look at this place. This is so pretty. Look at the amethyst and everything. Wow. Oh, they've got a huge one over there. And look at this one. It's giant. Oh my gosh. There's some really nice gifts in here too. So it's like kind of like a gift shop, but they have crystals and that's 325. It says white something something. Oh, this place is very nice. This one is 2100, but it is polished. Like look how pretty. The sides are really polished and that purple is so so good. It's like really intense. Oh, they have some really pretty stones and things here. Amazonite. That one's 3500. That is amazing. This place is called Antique City Mall. It's about three minutes drive from the downtown area where we just were. It looks pretty large. It's like a warehouse. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think we're gonna do well in here, find some interesting stuff, and uh, let's see what we can do. Well, it says no video recording allowed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to uh, shop it anyway, and then I will show you what I got later, like as a haul video. You've been asking for haul videos, and I can show you this out here. Oh, oh, I thought that was a giant snake. Yeah, so we're basically just gonna walk around the building recording. No, kidding. All right, I'm gonna go inside. I'll, I'll uh, get the stuff, and maybe I'll just take photos. It says no filming, but you could take photos, so I'll, I'll just do photos. Immediately when I walked in, I saw this really cool piece. I love the orange on it, and for $7.50, I decided I had to get it. But then also, I noticed this Belique. I left it behind at $35, but I love the tree trunk vase. Plus, I already had this one. And this little owl with the squirrel. It's super adorable. I haven't really seen it before, but it says it's Beatrix, Beatrix Potter, and it's 20 bucks. It's a nice booth. I noticed this blue thing down in the corner there. You see it? like the Epernay type piece, that one, $70, very nice, and it says France on it, hmm. it's just really pretty, you can see a nice ribbing up the side of it, yeah, PV France, look at this ashtray, it's so mid-century and it has the flamingo on it, I really did like it, but I couldn't bring myself to buy it for myself, I think it was like $20, I actually have one of these tissue uh, holders I need to sell, Oh, look at those great glasses. I love those spaghetti ones, the yellow ones. They're really pretty. Oh, now this purple dish, I actually did buy it. You can see it's purple glass. And it's like a console bowl. It is blown. You can see the console mark on the bottom of it. Ten bucks. And you could even see some like small bubbles inside of it too. So I bought it. Here's a fun booth. I liked it. Lots of little smalls in here. Didn't really find anything. It says all items 20% off, but the chalkware piece there, that was like $14 or something. I didn't really find any deals in there that I needed to get. We're going to walk down the aisle and we'll see what else we can find. Oh, I like that plate. Isn't that pretty though? It's all hand painted. 
It's a nice country scene, has the trees. It's very pretty. And it is $12 from Germany. Yeah, hand painted. It's lovely. Mmm, the flamingos. I didn't buy any of them. They had higher prices on them, unfortunately. But that's just how it is. And none of them are really calling my name. Although that one right there was a very interesting one, the way that the wings are spread on it. So I did like that one. But what, $300 it said. Huh. Nice booth. Yes. I don't know what's going to be in here. It's, let's see, what did we, ah, yes, this one, the swung vase. They had $120 on the bittersweet. That's just beautiful. A lot of the items in this mall were kind of on the higher side, so I didn't really get much. But look, there's a little lithograph hanging out that drawer for $25, the R. Atkinson Fox print. Colors are pretty good. A little bit muted for the age, but yeah, it's a nice one. I like that. Very peaceful. Nice booth. There's some art glass on the shelf I'm noticing. And there's just really nice thing, Blendo. The Bluebird of Happiness, though. Yeah, $25. I couldn't really do anything with that. So it's a Ron Ray. And the Bulacante vase there, 20 bucks. Again, couldn't really do anything with that, with those prices. And they also had this decanter for $30. It's like an old barber's bottle. Antique milk glass. Those are fun. You know, another view of the booths going down the aisle here. And this green elephant, it's really pretty. I like this elephant. In fact, I bought this elephant. I just thought it was really cool. Oh, that's a blurry picture. I did a terrible job on that one. My goodness. Well, here we go, much cleaner. This cat, see that cat there hanging on that thing? That's a creamer. It's this lusterware. It's made in Czechoslovakia. It says Czecho slash Slovakia. Of course, that really doesn't exist anymore, but they had uh, $16 on it. I've sold this cat before. It's like a little cat creamer with the luster wear finish on the outside. It's pretty. See those dishes up there? Those are Pyrex. The plates right there, $7 for that dinner plate. It's just interesting. A little bit of wear to it, but it's not a common piece. Ah, I noticed from afar. You see it? What I'm going to go for? That. It's beautiful. They had $45 on it. That's a little bit higher than I'd like to spend for resale. Oh, and this green, you see it? It's the cut to clear green and it has the silver banding on there for $75. Why did I take a photo of that? I don't know. If <laughs> It's a book. <laughs> oh, and maybe the art. Maybe we're looking at the art. Yeah, okay. So they got really pretty art up there. I think that's Florida Highwaymen art. And there's more of it there during the, in the checkout area up in the front of the, the mall too. They had these milk glass plates. I've sold them before. They were all very pricey. Couldn't really do much with them. So, and these are interesting too. The frosted pieces, 95 on the one on the front. I was really considering this. This teapot, or this teacup. I love the colors of it. What? Oh, the flamingos. I'm like, what did I take? So you see the flamingos in there. They're, they're adorable. And this is a nice booth. It's really well done. There was these flamingo pictures in the back there. You could see them. Those are very cool. And I got the silver on the back. It's very popular. I love these tins. You see them, the monarch tea tins with the lion on it. All right, it's time for a little haul, a little tiny haul video here at the end. But one thing here I didn't even show in the video, and I'm surprised I didn't, but it's this Fenton fairy lamp. So I will show you what that's all about. But yeah, here's another look at the art glass. I think that's beautiful for ten dollars too. Though that that wasn't bad. So nice little compote, or this is known as a console bowl. Console bowls are generally wide like this and not extremely deep, and they don't usually have feet or anything like that on them. Usually, although they they can, like short little nubbins or something is okay. But the the key is it's not like tall like a compote or a vase or something. A little bit wider, known as a console. Bowl goes on like your console table. So nice, beautiful purple amethyst for 10 bucks. Didn't think that was too bad at all. Now this here, I bought it for $7.50. I didn't read it, I guess. This is a candle cover. So I just thought it was neat to look at. So if you just look at it, you say, wow, we isn't that neat. You could put this like a little mushroom kind of a thing. Actually, if you've got like a little 
because that's a, that's a nice cylinder in there. If you've got like a little uh, tree trunk, like a, like a thick branch or something and cut it, use that as your base of the mushroom and stick that on the top of it. And now you got like a little fairy garden piece or whatever. That's actually a good idea. Boy, I'm smart. That was literally just thought of right now, <laughs> but I think it would be cool. I like that, uh, that nice orangish amber, amberina color. The elephant I did buy, that was $14. Mm, you know, I just like the trunk, how it kind of returns back to the elephant like that. Nice movement in it. It's really pretty green as well. So that's great. Now the last item here is the Fenton Fairy Lamp, which you didn't even see me buy in the video, but it cost $25. I thought that was a really good price. That's why I bought it. And I did look it over for chips and there are none. No chips or cracks. The Fenton in the white milk glass is beautiful. And this one does not have a sticker or a mark. So it predates the night, like the mid 1970s. So it's just great. I, that's a really good price for that one. I would expect to sell it for maybe 40, $45 on one of my sales, but yeah, it's a small haul, but I did manage to get some things and uh, you know, we had a good time anyway. I mean, it was a struggle, I'll tell you that much, trying to get a video in that one whole town because of the way it was and many of the stores were closed. So we did our best. All right, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.